Well, I'm just checking in. It's December 26th. Um, very cold, 6 degrees Celsius. Uh, no, 6 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why I said Celsius. Um, and it's snowed a lot. We have, uh, I don't know, another 8 inches probably out here. Um, and it was real windy. Uh, so there's some snow drifts. But uh, I'm just going to get this guy fired up, uh, get it cleared, and... I don't know, I'll probably just show you some before and after because uh, it's very cold and uh, I want to get this done with quickly. So, uh, uh, airplane. Hello. Anywho, at least the sun's shining uh, for now. So, uh, hopefully, I can get this done while the sun is out and then go do my parents' house. Wow, it is still like six degrees out. <laughs> but uh, I got her cleared. Get a little bit better each time. I found that just plowing long straight lines uh, and then kind of cleaning up the edges is pretty effective. Um, I'm definitely going to have uh, a bit of touch up work on some of the grass, mainly just. Mainly just putting down grass seed, I think, in the spring, because I'm, I'm tearing quite a bit up with this dozer blade, but oh well. It's, uh, it's effectively clearing my whole driveway. But, uh, alright, well my hands are frozen, so I'm heading back in. Hope you're having a good day, thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Good job, Kubota. Thing's a beast. Very happy with it. All right, see you later. Hello there. It is negative one degrees outside right now, and it's windy, so it's like negative 10 wind chill. Very cold outside, but we're gonna start farming. Check it out. Worm farming. I'm really excited about this. <laughs> uh, I've wanted to get into this for a while now. Uh, we have a lot of plants around our house. Like this one, and 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 these ones, and that one, and these ones, and these ones, that one, and that one, that one, that's one. There's another, ooh, little bamboo looking scraggly. Look at this jade tree, that one, that little guy, that one, that one, that one. Her name's Dorothy, and this one, bamboo looking good, and this one. And I think it would just be good, you know, this probably won't produce enough to uh, to like feed our garden outdoors, but then again it might. Um, even if it creates enough compost just to feed all the plants in our house, I think that'll be kind of cool. So I'm gonna get this thing set up. Uh, comes with, it's uh, just the kit that they sell on Amazon. Um, comes with a couple starter items. I mean, it's like some perlite maybe, oh, pumice, a little scraper tool, um, rake, I'm sure you add water to this and it becomes a soil base. 
the minerals. I think there's probably a thermometer in here. Let's actually see what that thermometer says its temperature is. I just brought this in. Mm, well, it's below zero. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, trying to see which one's Fahrenheit, which one's Celsius. Yeah, that thing's probably at zero. Uh, I think that's a magnet. And then there's a bunch of little things on here. So, I'm going to put it together. Um, the worms are coming in a few days. I ordered a thousand to put in here with them. And uh, we're going to be farming in the middle of winter indoors. I'll be keeping it inside here. Um, but, uh, alright, well, I'm going to get it set up. And uh, in a few days we'll get it going. Well, it is nasty outside, but today, got my heat lamp on, today we just got our wormies. Ordered a thousand red wigglers from Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. Uh, so they're in here, I'm just uh, getting them warmed up a little bit, and I've got them on top of my little box, a uh, little composter here, which is full of goodies. So uh, let me get this thing set up and we'll uh, we'll put them inside. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So it's like 10 degrees outside. So luckily I was here right when these guys were delivered. So they should be. Uh, oh, there's there's an escape artist. All right. Let's get them out of here and into their new home. So they're not too upset. So I just put some uh, shredded shredded paper on top here. Um, that'll eventually be just to keep fruit flies and all sorts of random stuff like that down. Um, and then under that, I've got some wet newspaper. I'm gonna peel that back. I thought I was supposed to get these worms a few days ago, but with the weather, I think they probably just delayed shipping. Um, so in here right now, there's actually a little bit of food. This little thermometer says it's about 70 in there, so that's good. Um, I got a little bit more food I'll put in, but for now, I'm going to stir this up a little bit. guys in there. Alright. I got one go. Come here you. There you go. There's your new home. Alright. They're all trying to get out the top here. Okay, alright. Whoa. 
Oh man. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's just a big moving mass of worms. Get them all. There's a couple in there. Let's do this. Got them all. Oh, 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 no, he's still alive. Okay, he's got one more. Okay. All right, so. They're in there. Alright, so this thing feels pretty warm now that I've had this light on it. Um, I don't want to get them too hot, but I also just want to make sure that they're you know, not freezing to death in there. Well, it's going to be hard to see them, um, but they're all in there. I, uh, <laughs> they were all kind of in a big wad and I just sort of spread them around a bit. I don't think my camera has the focus range to, to really see them. But uh, I'm going to check on them later today. Um, see if they're doing okay. Hopefully we won't have too many escape artists. Um, that's kind of it. Uh, we're just going to let them do their thing. We're going to keep adding food and uh, hopefully they'll be happy little wormies. So, uh, more to come on this, but uh, this is cool. We'll see how we do. Let's feed the worms.
Hey, do you want to see these worms before I put them away? <laughs> They're looking good. There's that hawk right there, sitting up there on that tree, looking for a snack. Not going to find any guineas here. A little bit of snow coming down out there, I'll be plowing later. Wish I had a longer lens on this thing so you could see him. That's a big one. Hello! It's been a while since I've checked in. Uh, it's been pretty cold here. Single digits, uh, teens, pretty much from Christmas onward. Uh, but we had a pretty good time. Uh, past couple weeks I've just been getting stuff done around the house, so I think I'll just run around and to show some of the little projects I've been working on around here and uh, then I gotta go out and plow a little bit later and there's uh, kind of a neat thing I'll show you on the tractor that I learned how to do that I previously had no idea how to do uh, or rather knew how to do it just didn't really know what its purpose was that uh, I've sort of since figured out so I'll show you around a couple little things here and we'll see what else we find come along let's uh, see what's up so I've already showed you this guy, the uh, worms are working away, um, I don't want to disturb them too much in there, but everything seems to be working so far, they've, uh, they've just been chugging along, um, haven't killed them yet, so we'll, uh, we'll, see. we'll see what happens there. I went through a couple rooms, uh, well two or three rooms in our house and changed out the recessed lights to LEDs. And I also uh, installed a bunch of dimmer switches, so these little uh, switches on the side, I, I sort of prefer them. They're nice and sleek, and uh, you know they, they fit in the existing um, switch wall plate there. Um, so that's been pretty nice. They light up the room really well. They're uh, 2,700, uh, not lumens, but whatever the... Whatever the scale is that people measure these things with, um, I uh, put them in here as well. In our bedroom, they've uh, they've been working well. The only thing I notice is on the little dimmer switch. If you if you turn them down, let's say you got them kind of low at night, and then you turn it off, when you turn them back on at this low setting, um, they sometimes they take a minute to you know just a half a beat to uh, to turn back on but it's really not a big deal they they do eventually click on but if you have them all the way down and then you turn them off and turn them back on they do take just a just a second to kinda figure out how much I think they use just so little energy um, kinda takes a minute for them to figure out what's going on but this was another one where uh, these are 2700 uh, whatever the measurement is, you know, just so you keep, you know, like in a garage you would put 5,000, it's real bright white light, um, and these are more of a yellow light, so just a little bit nicer for an inside light. Um, I also did this light, I uh, replaced the, uh, all the candle bowl, all the chandelier bulbs with kind of a, a LED looking deal in there, put that on a, a dimmer as well 
um, and that turned out really nice. The other spot was in our kitchen. I uh, put a dimmer switch on this LED. Whoops. Um, I put a dimmer switch on this LED light. Um, I think that's full brightness. Yeah. Little switch there. You can dim it down real nice and low for nighttime. And uh, yeah, it was pretty easy. Just real, real quick jobs uh, around the house. Just getting that done. Here's the mighty Toro again. Uh, I was I had this thing torn apart earlier this week. Um, it was doing this thing where it would start up just fine and then after a few minutes it would sort of stall out but when I would pull the cord it would fire right back up so I took it apart and also my primer bulb had dry rotted off and fallen off so I got a new primer bulb I replaced the spark plug, I replaced the fuel filter uh, and I ran some seafoam through it and uh, it's running like a champ now so it's like a 15 year old machine it's it's pretty old but it's still running uh, the old Kubota's doing just fine um, I haven't had to plow in about a week or two um, but I did uh, did have some fun on New Year's Eve with some friends we uh, after the ball dropped we went out and uh, <laughs> hooked up some sleds actually these guys right here we tied off some sleds to the uh, hitch there put her in high gear and uh, tore around the yard for a couple laps that uh, that was pretty fun and uh, these tires did just fine. We were running around in 8 or 12 inches of snow. And uh, we were trucking, man. It was, it was a blast. I had the, the lights going. Uh, these things were doing well. We, we actually went sledding on the hill behind my house. And, uh, you know, having these movable lights was pretty cool. Because I just pulled up right next to the hill. Turned these things sideways. And uh, lit up the whole hill. Uh, they, they worked real well and I've actually been using them even when I was working uh, sorry I'm kind of shivering it's a little cold out it's like 10 degrees in here uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, when I was working on this I needed a little bit more light because it was nighttime and uh, uh, you know I just come over here click them on and I get plenty of light so uh, I'm really happy with that uh, they're super versatile and uh, they stay where I need them. So just little jobs I've been working on. Uh, I think it's still snowing outside. Uh, yeah, a little bit of snow coming down there. So I might plow, I might not. We'll see. Uh, I think we're supposed to get a little bit more tomorrow. So maybe I'll just do it then. But. Uh, that's kind of the update on some of the projects I've been on to uh, the past few weeks. Just a couple basic house stuff and little projects in the garage. So I'm going to go inside, uh, warm up now because I am very cold. And uh, probably work on the other project I've uh, got planned. I'm trying to get a greenhouse going. I want to build a hoop house. Uh, so it's a ton of research. Um, but I've got a pretty good idea of what I want to do. So uh, I think I'll uh, I think I'll continue that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go warm up. So if I do anything with the tractor, uh, we'll get that fired up. And uh, oh, I'll show you uh, the thing I wanted to share was I learned how to use or when really to use these modular brakes. Um, you know, when I first bought the thing, the guy told me, yeah, yeah, you can flip this up. Oh, well, I got the parking brake on. I'm not going to mess with it. But there's a latch there. You can lift that up, and then you can brake either the left or the right tire. Um, and obviously lock them together to brake both. And uh, I figured out a, a use case for for using them independently. So uh, when I go out there to plow, I'll, I'll demonstrate that. It's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> now I'm going in because I'm cold. I'll see you. Well, slight change of plans. It's still snowing out, so I think I'm just going to wait until tomorrow to uh, plow the driveway and show you my fun little brake pedal modulation 
Uh, so in the meantime, we're going to, going to check in on the worms and uh, I'm going to get them fed. So uh, let's see how they're doing. About 65 degrees in there. Well, it's kind of hard to see what's going on in here, obviously. Um, you know, I don't have the best lighting over here. Let's see. I just want to make sure it's wet enough. I think it is. I mean, this stuff is... It still feels damp, and the uh, the food itself in there has... Yeah, I mean, there's little guys running around. I think they're probably hiding uh, down lower. I did mix, when I originally set this up, I did mix um, a lot of the food in pretty deep. So, I mean, it, it's all spread out in there. Um, yeah, they're pretty deep down in there. Okay, yeah, I mean, they're, they're spread out all throughout here, um, and there's a pretty good mixture of stuff in there. So, you know, i got a lot of paper mixed in now, um, a lot of fruit, some tea bags, eggs, all the things they like. So, uh, okay, well, I'm just going to uh, add a little bit more. It might, might be overfeeding them, but I guess I'd rather be safe than sorry. Okay, well, enjoy little wormies. Hope you're having a good time in there. Guess we'll see how they do in a little bit. We've had them for four or five days now. I think I got them on Thursday last week and it's Monday today, so uh, take a few days to acclimate. Um, I think I got a thousand of them in there. Um, I don't know, we'll just continue to watch them, but uh, Tomorrow I'll probably do a little bit of plowing and bring you along and uh, then I'll get this video posted so I don't just disappear from the YouTube channel I've worked so hard to create. Okay, well, uh, thanks for joining me. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Later. Ooh, greetings and salutations. The sun is out, but it's very cold. It's probably five or six degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I'm just going to plow our driveway real quick, well, relatively quick. <laughs> um, just going to clear up this snow here and uh, show you the little trick I learned with the brakes. So uh, let me get started here and, uh, and we'll try to keep warm while doing it. Shall we begin?
So here's what I was talking about. I'm going to unlatch this, the brake locks here. And I'll try to show you what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Hitting one, I'll lock the, the left side. Hitting the other, I lock the right side. And pretty much what it allows you to do is spin in a really tight circle. So outside of it just looking cool, it's actually pretty helpful when you're in a tight spot. Like up here I've got the wall of my garage, I've got a pretty steep drop off there, but more so when I get down my driveway, uh, you know, it's only 10 feet wide, so when I get to the end, I can just lock up one side, spin the thing around, and I don't have to make like a six point turn. So. It's kind of cool. I'll see if I can uh, capture some more video of it, but uh, you can really get going. You put this thing in high gear and uh, you got to be careful. You'll lift the wheels in the front off the ground. Uh, so uh, <laughs> so that's that. I'll, uh, I'll shoot a little more video here of me plowing and we'll go from there. Almost lost the camera there.
while I'm thinking of it, I did pull the uh, lock pins out of the little holder down here and I moved them to this top uh, holding position. Uh, so thank you to the YouTube commenters who let me know that that's what I was supposed to do. It makes more sense that way. Thanks!
Well, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a pretty fun little uh, brake modulation. You can get into trouble though if you're not paying attention. Uh, but, uh, all right, well, I'm gonna wrap it up here and uh, if anything else interesting happens, I'll let you know. Well, I hope that was uh, informative or entertaining or maybe both. Uh, that's probably it for today. I'm going to combine all this uh, footage I've collected over the past month or so and make an episode today. So maybe you'll see me in real time today. Wouldn't that be wonderful? All right. Well, that's it for me and the, the mighty Kubota. We're, uh, we're going in. We're going to get back to work. Of course, by we, I mean me. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for joining me.